I've been using these bands or bands like these for about 17 years now and they've been an integral part of my exercise regimen and I recommend them to anybody who's looking to stay in shape, especially for the reason that they're so travel versatile. You can put these in your bag, you can almost literally stuff them in your shoe. They have plenty of different variations of tension, red is easy, blue is middle, and purple is uh, for uh, more advanced. Um, and what we're going to do here is a simple little exercise circuit to show you how in 15 minutes, um, anywhere in the world, you can get a great little workout. Now all you really need for this is just some fixed object, and today I'm just using a little, little curve in the uh, wrought iron, but you can put these in a doorknob, uh, you can put these uh, between the door and the door jam. you can put them on, like I said, anything that's a fixed object that you know isn't going anywhere, all right? Now the first exercise we're going to start with is going to be for the biceps, all right? Now, as far as posture goes, I want to make sure my shoulder blades are low, my shoulder blades are also touching each other from the back, and my neck is as long as I can get it. I like to get into a staggered stance. I feel like it helps me for balance and it takes a lot of stress off my hips. And I also want to make sure when I start this particular exercise, my elbows are high. You don't want your elbows low because it engages the core when you lift your elbows and it makes it more full body work. All right? We're going to do about 15 reps on this first uh, circuit. Now, I want to make sure I'm breathing out the entire time. Again, I want to keep my elbows high. I want to keep my shoulders low. Now, we're going to go to triceps. Again, you can switch the stance if you want to. Again, I want to make sure my chest is up. I want to bring my shoulder blades back. And I want to try to take my hands from here all the way behind me. Now, if the important thing here is you want to have perfect posture. If you really get sloppy, you're not doing yourself any good, you're kind of deteriorating your joints more than anything. So keep that perfect posture because remember, you're going to look like you work out if you work out like you want to look. All right? Nice. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to take a little downgrade here because purple's the toughest. I'm going to do something for the back of my shoulders here, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put, start with my thumbs up, chest is open, and I'm trying to take my hands as far away from me as I can. And also breathing out really helps for you to focus your core and keep a really strong core and keep your balance. So that's for the back of the shoulders. So, so far, in probably under three minutes, we've worked the biceps, the triceps, and the back of the shoulders. I'm already feeling it, all right? Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and make it a little more difficult by combining the hardest and the least. All right, I'm going to do something for my back. I'm going to take my knuckles here, okay? And I'm just going to try to touch my rib cage. Again, I want to make sure my shoulders don't creep up. In fact, I'm really trying to get my shoulder, my elbows rather than almost drag on the ground. So as you can tell from my breathing, one breath per movement. And that'll make sure you never run out of gas. You're always going to be on top as opposed to underneath the exercise. Now for the final exercise for my chest, we're going to go ahead and swing around to the front, all right? And I'm going to do basically chest flies. So here I am. I go ahead and get into my stance. Now notice how my legs are a little bit split. They're not straight on. This puts too much stress on the hips. So instead I want to open my toes and I want to open my legs a little bit, all right? Now I'm going to go ahead and pretend like I'm Pinocchio and I'm trying to touch the end of my nose. Again, I'm really concentrating on taking my shoulder blades as low as I can get them. How long can you make your neck? Four and three and two and one. Great. Now basically, we just went through every single exercise. I recommend doing about 15 reps per group. You do something for your bicep, the curls. Something for your triceps. The extensions, something for your backs of your shoulders, opening up like this, reverse flies, something for my back, right here, something for the front, I'm doing these chest flies like this.